this coming year, in about a month from now, or roughly, we'll start really preparing for the new beam. In a couple of weeks, there'll be a decision taken about what energy to run it, and we are expecting to retain the current default plan, which is to go to a slightly higher energy, from 7 TeV, 7,000 times the mass of the proton in energy units, uh, to 8,000, 8 TeV. And this is, a, is only a 15% change in energy, but it actually has a potentially big impact on some of the things we're trying to find and some of the studies we're trying to do. This year we are expecting to collect three times more statistics uh, with respect to what we had last year and it will be in uh, very challenging conditions because uh, this year the beams, uh, when they will cross in CMS, they will provide 30 interactions per crossing and this is uh, twice as much as uh, we had last year and this is above uh, the, the, the value that CMS was designed for. The trigger is the system that selects uh, which event uh, to store uh, for the further analysis and in CMS is based, uh, based on two levels. The first level poses a challenge uh, for the trigger in which we use combined objects like uh, muons, electrons, uh, multi-jets uh, because those are the ones which are more affected by this uh, overlapping of events. And so we will have to increase the threshold and select uh, carefully which uh, algorithm to use uh, which are less sensitive to this kind of conditions. We have uh, to make sure that all the systems are working properly from the data acquisition system, the trigger and also detectors uh, given that uh, these conditions were not uh, tested last year. In order to cope with this and make sure that we maintain the same high quality standards for the physics production, we have created a new unit. The role of PPD is to ensure the quality of the data that are provided to the different analysis group. And this is done both while we are acquiring the data as well after processing and storing. I mean, with the data we will acquire this year, basically we will close in the, 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 the Higgs boson search. We have now restricted the range where the Higgs boson can be, and very likely it is there. And, but if, if it is not there, it will be a discovery as well. I think that the discovery of supersymmetry uh, at LHC will be a major event in particle physics, in my opinion at the same level as, as the, the X discovery. Uh, we'd like very much to have uh, to run at increased energy, uh, 8 TV instead of 7 TV, because uh, despite uh, the fact that it's just a 15% increase in, in energy, it translates in a much larger probability to produce uh, SUSY particles. Of course, we're also looking for many other things, additional dimensions, uh, black, miniature black holes, various things like this. All of them will benefit from the higher energy. It's all kinds of searches which we call exotic, for the lack of better word. It's uh, just the searches of um, things which are not so easy to predict or not so um, clear how they behave. But um, our role as experimentalists is basically leave no stone unturned. CMS has uh, published more than 100 scientific uh, publications by now and of those uh, more than 80 are on uh, collision data from the LHC so they represent uh, new knowledge that we have accumulated since we started running. Uh, we've been publishing at the rate of something like a once per week, uh, 50 papers per year and in fact that's one of our upcoming challenges that this rate will go up. Uh, we are currently planning something between 130 and 150 papers uh, from our current data and what we're going to accumulate in 2012. And as for what's coming ahead, well, it's simple. Publish discoveries.